Hello friends, welcome to my page. Today I'm teaching you how to make paneer parathas and cheesy paneer parathas. And it's very delicious to eat it. Kids, they love it. But you can do some changes with the chilies according to your own taste and salt as well. And uh, here is the recipe for paneer parathas. Coriander powder, turmeric, red chili powder, black pepper, salt to taste, cumin seeds, pomegranate seeds, Kasuri methi, green chili, onions, tomato puree, grated paneer, cooking oil, ginger for flavor. Grated mozzarella cheese is optional, but if you want to make paneer and cheese paratha, then we can use it. Fresh coriander leaves for aroma. Put two tablespoons of cooking oil into the frying pan. Add cumin seeds into the oil. Kasuri methi. And dry pomegranate seeds. In a minute, add onions. Let it cook for half minute and keep on stirring it. Add all the masalas and green chili. We have to add tomato puree now. It's a time to add ginger paste. Add 2 to 3 tablespoons of water so that masala won't get burnt. And now it's a time to add paneer. Keep on stirring it and make sure the flame has to be very low and the paneer uh, doesn't have to stick with the bottom. Stuffing paneer masala is ready after a minute of mixing it well. Add chopped coriander leaves and we have to mix the mixture after adding the coriander leaves and let it cool down for 10 to 15 minutes. We have to take 2 cups of wheat flour, atta, 1 cup of all-purpose flour, maida. Add some salt according to your taste or 1 teaspoon. Kasuri methi, 1 tablespoon. Now it's a time to make a dough, so we keep on adding the water. But make sure you don't have to put too much water at one time. Just take some as we are kneading the flour. We have to make sure the dough consistency has to be firm. Now let's move to make parathas and we need oil, all purpose flour, paneer mixture, dough and grated cheese. Let's check how to make parathas. We need to make a medium sized ball of the dough and then roll into a circle after rolling into a circle now let's check how to add the paneer stuffing Now we have to see with this technique so that the paneer stuffing won't come out. Now put dry flour on both sides 
and start rolling into a circular motion to make it round size. Now our pan is already hot. Leave the flame on medium and put the paratha on the pan and spread oil around it. Now it's a time to flip the side and put oil on the flipped side. As you can see the other side is already done so we have to flip the side. Oil side gone on the bottom and put a little bit of oil on the flip side again and the paratha is almost ready. Now the paratha is ready to be served. Let's put on the plate and serve it with the butter on top of it. Now it's a time to show you guys how to make cheese stuffed paneer paratha. Procedure is almost alike the other paratha. Now it's a tricky part, make a round ball of paneer mixture and make a bowl shape and put some cheese into it. And put it in this way. So that the cheese won't come out and seal the dough. And roll the dough as we did previously. We will follow the same procedure as we did earlier and keep on flipping the paratha. Now cheesy paneer paratha is ready to be served. I'm slitting the paratha to show you guys how the cheese has melted to give its texture to the paratha. As you can see the melted cheese and it's so mouthwatering. It is so relishing to eat with bundi yogurt or mint coriander chutney. Thanks for watching and hope you will follow me for my upcoming recipes. Till then, good luck!